Hey everyone, so today I have another Mac haul. Um, I just got this in the mail a few minutes ago. It's like 7.50 at night and I just got this like 20 minutes ago or something. So I haven't even opened it. Um, I was in the middle of watching Bachelor in Paradise with my boyfriend, so we finished that episode. Um, we were watching the first night of the finale, so we finished that episode. I'm taking a break to film this and then we're going to go watch the final episode for the finale um but yeah i just got this in the mail so like i said i haven't even opened it yet so i'm gonna open this real quick okay so um i placed this order like two days after i placed my other mac call order so it was very um quick like back-to-back -back ordering so um, this one took a little longer to get here because of the holiday weekend, so, um, that's why it's just getting here, but, um, yeah. So, anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So, get rid of the tissue paper. Okay, um, the first thing I ordered was the blush inserts again and another palette um, like I said before I had seven blushes and the inserts only hold six so I needed another palette which is why I ordered this one um, as you can see I have already depotted and labeled my blushes um, so this is Well Dressed, Melba, Trace Gold is right here. This is Peachy Keen, Dolly Mix. I nicked it a little bit when I was depotting it, which is why there's a chunk missing right there. And the last one is Plum Foolery. So while I was depotting all the um, the six of these, I went ahead and depotted the last one, but I have it like in its container, but it's depotted. And this is, let's see if I can dig this out without ruining my nails. Um, I don't know how to dig this out without messing up my nails. Got it. Okay. This last one is um, Dainty. This is a mineralized blush. So like I said, I went ahead and depotted it while I was depotting the other ones because they're a little difficult to depot if you don't know what you're doing. But um, the first time I ever depotted anything was with um, the eyeshadow palette I bought like a month or two ago. Might have been a little longer than that, but... Um, that was the first time I've ever depotted anything, so I had to do a, it's like a hair on my lip gloss. Um, that was like a trial and error. You had to, um, use a straightening iron, like parchment paper and a knife. So it's a little difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but, um, once you do it once, it's pretty easy to figure out again. So like I said, I bought the blush palette and the insert so I can put the dainty blush into a palette and then I'm gonna keep um whenever I decide to buy a blush again it'll just be like this and not in this packaging so that's why I went ahead and bought another palette um this is a eyeshadow and this is carbon So, like I said, I've already depotted my um, eyeshadows. So now that when I buy eyeshadows, it comes like this in a little pot. They're much cheaper if you buy them this way instead of in like the big packaging. So if you have um, eyeshadows or blushes, I would recommend depotting them. But this is just a matte black color. 
Um, so I got that. I had it before and then, um, like I said, I had it in like the normal MAC eyeshadow packaging and it was like a double size, like, um, I bought it as, at a CCO, which is a cosmetic company outlet if you don't know. Um, you can get like discontinued makeup for like really cheap or like limited edition stuff and um, so the carbon eyeshadow I bought was double that so it was like this big or something and I ended up selling it on eBay because I wanted it to fit in my palette so I bought that one instead and then the sample was the MAC strobe cream um, any other samples if I've never tried it or used it before in the past I've been trying to get the new samples to see what they are so like I said I've never tried this so that's just the MAC strobe cream and then the two main things I ordered out of this haul were the MAC Ariana Grande lipstick and lip gloss collection. These are the new ones that just came out like a couple days ago. So this is Viva Glam Ariana Grande 2 matte lipstick. It's just like a basic um, MAC lipstick with the red writing. And it's like this really like matte orchid violet color. So it looks like that. It's, it goes on pretty sheer, but obviously a couple of swipes you can build it up. It doesn't take very much to build the color up. So, and it's got Ariana Grande written right there. So, um, this isn't a color I would obviously wear every day, but for special occasions I might break it out. And then I got the lip gloss to go with it. This is a lip gloss. And this is the Viva Glam Ariana Grande 2. And this is like a like a brownish purpley nude color um, it's got a little hint of a sparkle in it and then it's got the Ariana Grande written on it so there's a swatch of that and then I'll put it over the lipstick so you can see what that looks like too. So it's over the lipstick now. So those are both of those swatches. Um, the lip gloss had my I would be probably wear every day, whereas the lipstick. Um, Obviously, you wouldn't wear this color every day, but you could on, like I said, certain occasions. Um, I guess if you did it really lightly, like that, like, that's just like one quick swipe where I didn't build up the color. If I guess if you did it like that and just kind of like dabbed it on, um, you could probably make it work. But like I said, the lip gloss you could, you could get away with, but the lipstick, you'd have to find the right occasion to wear that. So anyways, that is my um, other MAC makeup haul. Um, I, guess, I know it's not a lot. I don't usually buy a lot of stuff from MAC at one time because it is a little pricey. Um, obviously, I have like other bills and stuff I have to pay for, so I can't spend all my money on makeup. So, um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.